Not all errors occur at translation time and at compile time. It's possible to have an error at runtime, and if someone is trying to view a page, something reasonable needs to happen. If you don't trap your own errors coming from a Java server page, they'll be caught for you by the server, and the default error page will be displayed. Here is the JSP page that I contrived to produce an error at runtime to show you how that works. You can have any number of JSP and HTML files in a single WAR file. I have three different JSPs that generate errors here, and each one handles it in a different way. Let me show you the first one. This JSP page translates and compiles without an error, but when you try to display it, the Java code simply throws an exception. That exception is caught inside the server and displays the system error page. Let me show you what happens. This is the system error page. Here at the bottom you can see the original exception that was thrown by the JSP. It was captured and it caused the throwing of a servlet exception. Now this is all good information if you're analyzing the system, but it doesn't do much for a user trying to look at your pages. Instead of this system page, you can catch the error and display a page of your own. Now this page generates the same error condition, but this one is set up to handle the errors. This one has a page element to declare an error page. When this page has an error, it causes a display of this HTML page. The HTML page is deployed inside the same WAR file. There's not much to it. You can use any HTML page you like and display any message you like to the user. But you can probably be a little more friendly than an exception traceback. Let me show you how this works. Here you see that the original page, the one with the error, was never displayed. Instead, the error page is displayed. It doesn't have any information about the error, but quite often that's all you need just to let the user know that something is wrong and something needs to be done. However, it's possible to catch and display the error itself. Here's another version of the page that produces the error. This is almost the same thing again, but it uses a different error page. And this time there is a message included inside the exception. And here is the Java server page that is displayed as a result of the error. This, of course, is a JSP page, so the message included in the exception can be displayed. This page declares itself as an error page, that is, it's one that will be displayed in response to an exception. And take a look at this expression. There is a string variable named exception that exists in all JSP error pages. It's used to display the information about and the message held inside the thrown exception. And here's the result. The error is caught and the page is displayed. And here you can see that the name of the exception is displayed and the test string inside the exception is also displayed.